to the Black Tower. I'm your host, your guide, your brother, the sorcerer Armanasul. Here on this beautiful Friday, we come to honor the most beautiful queen of heaven, Inanna, also known as Ishtar, whose color is white, whose number is 15. Now, a most interesting concept about how awesome Inanna actually is, is that when you read or you hear about Inanna, you hear about the temples and stuff to Inanna with the sacred, uh, the sacred huas, uh, and so forth and so on. I'm sorry, that was funny in my head, but her sacred prostitutes, it was hua. But uh, the thing is, is that she wasn't just a goddess of uh, carnal love, okay? And Nana teaches us to love ourselves, uh, to love ourselves first. And in so, when we love ourselves, we are able to love others more fully, more completely, you know? Yeah, I can't go around secretly hating yourself because that secret hate will ruin and destroy your world and your life or everything you work for. So, Inanna teaches us to love ourselves and to work through our, our feelings of self-worth in a sense, kind of, sort of. Uh, she does a lot of things. Uh, I personally, I call upon Inanna quite a bit for healing. Uh, don't know why, but Venus connects with me in a healing way. And maybe in a sense of learning how to love myself, I've learned how to love others and how to accept others. And that is healing in a sense. And so, with that being said, you know, here's to the only to the only goddess in the Simon Necronomicon tradition next to Arishkagal and Tiamat, but of the elder gods, there are like six gods and one goddess. Kind of reminds you of the Smurfs, but the Smurfette was the only female Smurf. It's kind of weird. But, you know, no, nah, it's not really like that. And Anon is not some small blue thing that lives in a mushroom. So, anywho. But with that being said and done, uh, this video is in honor of the Queen of Heaven. Uh, the, my goddess, uh, Anana, also known as Ishtar. Uh, learn to love yourself. Work with Anana to teach you how to love yourself. You know, how to forgive yourself and how to let things go. Because only when you learn to let go and forgive yourself do you truly begin to heal in your heart. And when you heal in your heart, all your relationships will start to bloom and you will start to notice healthy relationships from destructive, harmful relationships. So with that being said and done, I wish each and every single one of you peace, blessings, and power. Till next time.